Uh, morning, everyone. I'm very happy before God who gave us this precious time uh, to meet all of you here. And every morning, uh, every morning while we are sharing the heart of God, also it is so blessed in my heart. And I believe that also this word of God, what we are sharing, this is not the word of Pastor Kim. This is what, uh, which is in the Bible. And I believe that this word of God also will give you uh, strength and hope and power and also the guidance of God and also the heart of God in our uh, spiritual life. Uh, let us open the Bible. We want to continue to start from the Bible study from Second uh, First King. Today we shall read First King chapter two, from verse forty-two to forty-six. First King chapter two. From verse 42, I will prepare for screen. From verse 42, then the king sent and called for Simei. And say to him, did I not make you swear by the Lord and warn you saying, know for certain that on the day you go out and travel anywhere, you shall surely die. And you say to me, the word I have heard is good. Why then have you not kept the oath, the oath of the Lord? And the commandment that I gave you. The king said moreover to Simei, you know, as your servant acknowledges all the weakness that you did to my father David, <clears throat> therefore the law will return your weakness on your own head. But King Solomon shall be blessed, and the throne of David shall be established before the Lord forever. So the king commanded Benaiah, the son of Jehoniah, Jehoiada, and he went out and struck him down, and he died. Thus the kingdom was established in the hand of Solomon. Yeah, uh, today, uh, we want to share the heart of God in this Bible. Uh, I think uh, you know very well this story. You know very well this story. Uh, first King chapter one, we are able to see how uh, King Solomon become king of Israel and how God raised uh, this, how God, because of chapter one, we could see that uh, Adonia tried to be a king of Israel himself because really he trusted himself and he tried to exalt himself and he tried to be a king of Israel. But God, uh, really, we can see the will of God was side of the King Solomon. So finally, and David is able to uh, uh, announce. And Solomon is king of Israel. And finally, Solomon become king of Israel. Uh, now, when we come to the chapter 2, uh, we could see that now David is, before he die, he gave last word as his will. But in, at his last word, he mentioned some people. Uh, for the Joab and Simei, uh, he he, he, he said to Solomon, uh, really to punish them uh, with wisely, isn't it? And then because, um, uh, because really uh, this Simei, he has been Simei, he was abusing when David, he left from Jerusalem, but Simei, he come and really he abused 
uh, David and whole Israel. And that's why uh, the time uh, King David say that uh, you may, you know what he has done, so really punish them. And also Joab, though he was commander of Israel, but really Joab, he has been doing with his own way. And he has been, he killed Abunel, even Amasa. Really, he though he was working for David, but he has been living with his own uh, heart. And also another one called Varsile. Uh, Varsile really, Varsile, Varsile, yes, Varsile really when he left from Jerusalem, but he came and he treat, treat with a lot of food. So really he asked Solomon to give the mercy and blessing to the sons of Varsile right kindness give them kindness so actually so some people may say that uh, why david at the last moment he punished he punished them in this way even he didn't punish he himself actually why he gave these things to solomon to punish them uh, maybe it is like using uh, instead of he killed them or he punished them it looks like he make his son to punish them. It's not good. It is unfair. Maybe some people may think in this way, but it is not like this. Really, on the side of uh, David, instead of he punished them by himself, also he left all these things at the hand of God. Amen. And also in order to this kingdom of uh, Israel, in order to his kingdom should grow, really such kind of evils, such kind of the darkness should be punished and finished. That's why really I can see that it is not because of his personal revenge, but really for the righteousness of God in this uh, kingdom of Jerusalem and also is Israel. Really, I can see that God should punish them. This is not his personal revenge. Also, this is the will of god amen and then today uh, there is some one part which i want to share with you about the simi as we read uh, today's scriptures you are able to see this simi really you know the time he uh, when david because of absalom and david he left from jerusalem but the time uh, Simei came to uh, David and he was cursing David. I think the other time we remember uh, why we study 2 Kings, no, 2 Samuel chapter 16. Uh, 2 Samuel chapter 16 from verse 5 to 10, you are able to see how this Simei cursed King David and also all the people of David. But the time uh, uh, his servant Avishai tried to punish him or kill him, but actually David make uh, David make uh, Avishai to not kill him. God he is the one who allowed him to do it. So actually he didn't uh, immediately. That is what Simei did. So, you know, if you think about Simei, Simei is very clever. He's very smart. So, because he knew that now David is lying away and he is really, he is in difficult situation and before God. That's why he knew that David cannot kill the Simei in this moment, even though he abused, even though he cursed. But David, he cannot kill because otherwise people, they may say that yet David was running away, yet he was in the time to repent before God, but he killed his people, how David can do it. So Simei knew that during this time, David cannot kill. That's why he was able to abuse 
and curse David with burdens. I think also he didn't expect that David would come back to Jerusalem, right? But finally, uh, the, 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 the soldiers of David destroyed all the people of Absalom. Finally, David come back to Jerusalem, right? And then Simei is surprised because according to his calculations, he cannot come back, but David came back and again, David become a king of Israel. So the time Simei immediately, he get wisdom. I think we can check in the Bible. Second, second Samuel, second Samuel chapter six, 19 verse 16. Second Samuel chapter 19 verse 16. Second Samuel chapter 19 verse 16. Uh, Second Samuel chapter 90, verse 16 says that, and Simei, the son of Gera, a Benjamite, who was from Bahurim, Bahurim, hurried and came down with men of Judah to meet King David. There were a thousand men of Benjamin with him, and Ziba, the servant of South of Saul, and his 15 sons, and his 20 servants with him, and they went over the Jordan before King. So now what you're able to see here says that, then where the thousand men of Benjamin with him? So, so you are able to see that when he stand, when he stand before King David, he came with who? He came with 1,000 men of Benjamin. So also, the time he has a sin, but really instead of he repent before God and before King David and ask, really, he, he realized his sin and really he repent and seeking his mercy. But also you are able to see that he, he, he was using what? His own way, with his own wisdom, with his own way, he tried to avoid those challenges. Yes, he's very clever. Because David knew that now David need the time to gather in the heart of people. Is it right? Even try to buy the heart of people from Judah try to bind the heart of people for all Israel from 12 tribes. And now this Simei came to David with 1,000 people. It means he knew that now David is time to bind the heart of the people, but how he can kill before the 1,000 men of Benjamin. He cannot really with his own wisdom, he tried to avoid, and he really, he believed that. He might believe that, yes, really, I'm a smart, really, I'm smart. He would say like this, isn't it? He would say like this, but now, that's why, uh, before, before David uh, died, and actually he called, uh, he called, uh, Solomon. Uh, he really, he said to him that he explained about the Simei. When I went to Mahanai, really he cursed me, but don't let him die in peace, right? And you have a wisdom, really you may punish him. You may say like this. So Solomon. He knew exactly how is Simei. Because really, he trusted himself. That's why he became arrogant. He, that's why he was able to curse the King David. And then with his own wisdom and idea, he was avoiding those challenges. Are we together? 
So Solomon, when he saw Sime, he saw exactly, he knew the character of Sime. Of course, why he become arrogant? There is something what he has done. Because of these things, what he did well, he trusted himself and he become arrogant. That's why he was able to curse King David. He was able to curse and abuse the King David. Yet God has established. God he is the one who established the King David. But Simei, because of trust himself, believe himself, because of arrogant heart, he was able to judge David. He was able to curse David. And after, when David came back, again, he was using his own wisdom to avoid the situation. So Solomon, he knew exactly. Really, he trusted himself. Yes, the people who trust themselves, who believe themselves, they don't listen carefully and they will not react, they will not behave in a careful way because of the trusting themselves. It is true. Brethren, the people who trust themselves, they don't listen carefully from others. Even though they listen, yes, 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 because, because they believed, I know, I knew what you are saying. That's why they cannot listen carefully. They are listening while they are listening, but also at the same time, they are listening with their own thought. But what about someone who cannot do well, who cannot trust themselves, when someone is saying they would write? Yes, ah, I cannot. Yes, I should write because I would forget. I would forget. But the people who trust themselves, yet they would forget. They believe that I remember all. That's why finally they make a mistake. They forget and they, they spoil the work. Yes. Really, Sime, he trusts himself. That's why instead of Solomon punishing immediately, really he put a kind of trap. Because he trusts himself. If he trusts himself, he will not listen carefully what I say. And he will despise my word. He will not take it serious way. That is what Solomon knew. So Solomon said that you can put a house in the Jerusalem, but do not cross over those Gidon levers. You stay here. If you cross over, you would die. Then in the eyes of Solomon, Simei, it was very easy. He thought that he would die. So it is very easy. Yes, no problem. So he swear before the Lord. So what happened? When two servants, he ran away. Right? Two servants, he left. After three years, after three years, two servants, he left and he went to Palestine, uh, King God, Agis. And so Simei, he would think, because if I go to Palestine, King Guard, then Sol uh, Solomon may know. That's why he would rebuke me, he would punish me. So it is not good for me to go there. Either he sent his servant, either he just uh, give up so that he can leave. But what happened? As you know, really this, um, in the heart of Simei, he could think that, ah, it will be okay. It will be okay. Hey, even though I just go and just pick those people, I will not take a long time. Then I think it is okay. Eh? I think it's no, there is no problem. Yes, now you are able to see that the people who trust themselves, they don't listen carefully, even though they knew, but they don't take it serious way. Easily, easily living according to their own right mind, their own opinion. Really, finally, uh, King Solomon sent Bunaya and killed Simei. And this Bible say that First King chapter 2. Verse 46 says that the king commanded Benaiah, the son of Jehoniah, he went out and struck him down and he died. Thus the kingdom was established in the hand of Solomon. So what we are able to see that 
Really, God, the King Solomon sent Benaiah to kill him. And Bible says the kingdom become established. Kingdom was established in the hand of Solomon. Really, we are able to see that Satan continually exhort our heart and make us trust ourselves, believing ourselves. While we are believing ourselves and become arrogant, we cannot listen to the word of God. We can easily despise this, listen to the word of God, to join the fellowship and even listen from others and easily is living according to our own flesh desire our own flesh mind. That's why you find that our heart become more closer with the word, more closer, more closer. So that's why, yeah, this gospel is so precious. Yes, this work of God is so precious. Yet the church is very precious. But Satan continually exert our heart, despising the word of servant of God, despising the word of church, and easily is living according to our own flesh mind and flesh desire. So everyone really, we are able to see how really this may who trust himself, what is the end? With his wisdom, really he spoiled his life. So through this, really we are able to check our heart really not only just knowledge in our mind, really we have to check our heart. Amen? We have to check our heart. Really, am I trust myself? Am I arrogant? Am I listen? Am I listen carefully? Or even though I just listen, but what can I enter my heart? Really, we have to check our heart. So everyone, not just living according to our flesh mind, God wants us to defeat his flesh desire and live by faith, living for the gospel. Amen. Today, through the story of Simei, we are able to check our heart. We are able to check our heart. Who am I before God? Where am I before God? Really, really, we are the one who trust ourselves, who trust our thought or not. The people who trust themselves, the people who believe their thought, really this word of God cannot be in their heart. The guidance of God cannot be in their heart because of trusting ourselves. I wish all brothers and sisters remember this may what is a finishing and failure of the people who trust themselves. Yes, the people who trust themselves, who believe themselves, even they don't hold the word of king, commandment of king in their heart, right? In the same way, even in our spiritual life, the time we trust ourselves, exert ourselves, and we despise that word, not just despise, but just that word of God is not big in our heart, right? Yeah. Uh, so through this time, really God wants us to come out from our flesh desire, wake up from our flesh dream, so that we are able to serve God with able to work for the gospel together. Amen. Yeah, thank you so much. We finish here. Thank you.